What is up, my dudes? What's going on? It's your boy Caveman, guys, and I'm back with another GTA 5 solo money glitch, dudes. That's right, it's solo, man. So if you guys are new, you might want to hit the subscribe button, bro, so you don't miss out on future glitches like this, guys. Dudes, this is a good solo glitch, bro. It works for sure, okay? Um, I'm going to tell you right now that this glitch, dudes, honestly, I'm going to tell you right now, man, it's it's a little tricky to hit on the Xbox, okay, because of the of a timing issue. It's more about the timing than anything else. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. PS4, as usual, bro, you are good, bro. There's literally no explanation. Like, I'm going to tell you guys how to do it, and you'll see, bro, it's 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 ridiculously easy. I mean, you can't mess this one up, but, but Xbox, it's a little tricky, guys. So I'm going to show you guys on the timing and what I mean, okay? Now, um, I I hope that you did the setup that I that I posted. Okay, um, if you did not do the setup that I posted, you must do a setup in order to be able to do this solo. And if you did not, I will be posting the link to that video in the description below. Okay, dudes. So if you do not have a a BMX bike inside of your facility, then you might want to go down to the description and hit on the link so you can learn how to get a BMX bike inside of the facility. Because in order to be able to do this slow low glitch that I'm about to show you, you need a BMX in there. Now I recommend not putting just one in there. You wanna get as many in there as possible because per BMX bike, that's how many dupes you're gonna be able to do. So if you have seven in there, then you'll be able to do seven, bike, uh, seven dupes, okay? So just make sure that you do go down there to the description below and do the BMX bike glitch, okay? You must have BMX bikes in the facility. Okay, my dude? So have that thing full of BMX bikes. Um, also, you do not need custom plates for this, bro. That's how awesome this one is, okay? So if you don't have custom plates, you're good to go. Um, what I was showing you here is in the background, what I was showing you is that you do need an MOC. You do need personal vehicle storage in the back of it. And you need the retro that you're duping fully upgraded in the back of the MOC. So it needs to be stored back there, okay, guys? Now, let me just clear this up real quick, guys. Um, the Every time that I show you guys this, I see in the comment section that everybody's asking why always the retro. The retro is the one that sells for the most. When you're duping, you want to dupe Benny's vehicles. Why? Because when you sell a vehicle, you're not really selling the car, you're selling the upgrades. So Benny's vehicles have upgrades up the ass which means that you get the most for it. And the retro is the one that has the most upgrades and the most expensive upgrades. Therefore, you get the um, the most amount of money when you sell these dupes, okay? So that's why we always use the retro. But if you don't have a retro, you can use any Benny vehicle until you can get yourself a fully upgraded retro. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm parking the MOC, guys. Um, you wanna start this off by parking the MOC um, somewhere where you get the animation okay you must get the animation when you hit the right d-pad you must get the animation to go in to the moc if you don't get the animation this won't work okay so you must get the animation and you must park it somewhere on flat level ground so that you do get that animation okay guys so i'm going to show you guys here in a second what i mean by that animation but real quick because i forgot to mention guys also for this glitch you will need the orbital cannon okay you must have that inside of the facility so you must purchase the orbital cannon guys okay um now this is what i mean by the cutscene that when you hit right d-pad this is what you need you see how you see the the ramp go down and the car go in if you don't get that it, it, this isn't going to work so you must park your moc on level ground not on an uphill not on a downhill not where there's shit around it or or you won't get that cutscene. but you must have that cutscene. okay if you don't have it, it won't work. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Now that we know we do have the cutscene, we wanna go ahead and, and get behind the MOC with the retro that we're duping, okay? This retro, remember, it belongs behind the MOC. When we do get behind this MOC, what we're gonna do it on, on PS4, okay? I'm just gonna explain to you guys real quick. On PS4, you're gonna go ahead and get a recent activity ready and you're gonna hover over Start GTA Online on that recent activity. So any recent activity that sends you into GTA Online, you go ahead and you hover over Start GTA Online, okay? Now, um, you're gonna go ahead and hover over that, hit PS button, come back over here, hit right D-pad, and immediately double tap PS button and go ahead and, and start 
uh, go ahead and hit that start GTA online and hover over the alert screen. Stay on the alert screen, okay? But for Xbox, this is what you must do, bro. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing, but there's a timing issue. So you want to go ahead and you want to join on a friend, okay? And that's what I was doing here. I was trying to join on a friend because that's how I learned the glitch is just to join on a friend, okay? And then you're on a different targeting mode, mind you. Uh, and then you're gonna accept the first one and, and sit on the second one. But before you do that, you're gonna hit right D-pad, okay? So you join on the friend, spam on join friend, and then you go ahead, as soon as you spam on join friend, you hit right D-pad, and then first alert, second alert. But what was happening here is, you're supposed to hit the right D-pad and then get that first alert when you see that cutscene that I was talking about. And I wasn't getting the cutscene. You see what I'm saying? I just wasn't happening for me. Why? Because of that timing issue, bro. And you guys on Xbox know what I mean. That timing of joining the friend, sometimes you get session details way late, bro. Way late, okay? So it takes forever. And that's why you need to time it out. So I'm going to show you guys where I actually got to hit this. And I'm going to show you what I mean about the timing. Look how long it took, dude, okay, that it got night on me. Now, now to go ahead and solve that timing issue with the join friend, what you want to do is you're going to go ahead and join on your friend, okay? But when you spam on join friend or, or you know, whatever the hell you're doing uh, to be able to join your friend, now you're going to wait about 10 seconds after, okay? Before before hitting right D-pad, you're going you're gonna to wait 10 seconds. So let's go ahead and you're just going to join, you know what I'm saying? And then once you do join, now you're going to count till about 10. Why? Because at about 12 seconds, that's when you get session details. So see right here, I'm waiting about 10 seconds. At 10, I go ahead and hit the right on the D-pad, okay? Now, once you hit right on the D-pad, then you're going to get the, uh, the, uh, the, the cut team that we're waiting for, okay? But, but you have to wait those 10 seconds to be able to get that session detail. And the moment you see session detail, hit right D-pad, accept the first alert and sit on the second alert my dude now you're gonna see right here what i mean with the right d-pad 10 seconds pass up and you can tell when i hit the right d-pad because my lights go on like that and then here you go i accept the first one and you sit on the second one but you see how i accepted the first one in the cutscene? you have to accept it in the cutscene, bro if you don't accept it in the cutscene, it will not work okay and then sit on the second one now we're sitting on this uh, for a minute, dude, minimum a minute, okay? Both Xbox and PS4. You're both at this alert. PS4, like like I told you before, it was a lot easier. You, you are, you've you been on this alert, okay? Now we're both on this alert. We're just sitting here for a minute, guys. Don't rush this. I'm telling you, if you rush this, you did it for no reason. So wait for a minute, put a timer on. Once you go ahead and you back out of that, don't accept that alert. You're gonna back out of that alert. This is what you get, this glitched out screen. Now, if you hit reverse, you can actually still reverse and drive your car around, but your camera does not work, okay? You can't move your camera around. So how you're gonna fix this issue here is with the good old trusty Titan of a job, bro. So you're gonna go ahead and you load up uh, Rockstar, Rockstar created mission, the whole deal, go to uh, Titan of a job, and you just load up Titan of a job and come right back. You're not doing anything in Titan of a job. All you're gonna do is you load up into it, when you do, you're just gonna come right back. And the only reason why we're doing this is to get yourself from that unglitched state. Now look how cool this is, bro. When I came back, the MOC is wide open, bro. Look how glitched out this shit is. I was like, what the hell's going on? I had to walk inside of it. I just had to, dude. I was like, what is going on in here, bro? I had to I had to experience it, you know what I'm saying? So there you go, bro. The, this thing is glitched out. That's how you know it worked. When you come back, your MOC is wide open. Another way you know it worked. Check this out, bro. This is me flooring the car. Literally, bro. Pedal to the metal right here. Your car's not going to go faster than this. So I recommend that you do this near your facility, bro, because this is how fast your car is going to go. It will not go faster than this at this point. All right, dudes? So if you have those two those two things happen where the MOC is wide-ass open or this thing's riding slow, you know you're good, bro. You can keep going with the glitch, okay? Now, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and fast-forward it because this car takes forever, bro no lie it, it, this thing is going like five miles an hour the entire way and me with this facility at this top of the hill dude you have no idea how long it actually took me in real time to get up there bro i mean trying to maneuver myself up there took forever okay so trust me that uh you, you should be thankful that i hit fast forward on this <laughs> now when you get to your facility bro you want to make sure you leave that car outside and go in on foot and, and and this is where i was talking about that we needed those bikes okay so that's why i told you 
your facility should be filled with bikes because per bike, that's how many dupes you get. Now to drive this bike, remember there is no RT or R2. You can't, you can't drive it like a bike because it's gonna take you outside. Okay, you have to tap X or A in order to be able to ride the bike inside of the facility. So now, now that you're good, you're riding your bike in the facility, good to go. What you wanna do is you wanna ride your bike over to your orbital cannon, okay? And, uh, and on, on your orbital cannon, you, you know how you get the, um, the, the option to be able to, to, get, to go into it, you know, to, to go shoot somebody or go sh blast it off, okay? So that's what you wanna do. You wanna get that option. Now, see, see what I mean here? You're not, you're, I'm not getting the option. Now, the reason why is because you gotta get off the BMX. And you see how I got the option now on the top uh, left corner right there? Now, when I get back on the BMX, the option is still there. So you have to be on your BMX with the option to get into the orbital cannon, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit, um, you're gonna hit your right trigger, okay? Now you are gonna hit your right trigger and right on the D-pad at the exact same time, okay? The exact same time. And if you hit right trigger and and right on the D-pad at the exact same time, then then you're good to go, bro. You should be able to spawn outside now, okay? You're gonna spawn outside on foot just like this with the vehicle that was out there that you left out there, okay? Just so you know that, that everything is good to go at this point. The vehicle is there and you're good to go. All right. Now, you see what I'm saying? Like you don't need custom plates because if you can tell from before, that other, clay, that other plate was different. You see what I'm saying? Look at that. It just changed on you. So now you have a completely different plate. Then you can't get dupe detected. You're good to go with that, my friend. This thing is still driving slow at this point. Okay, bro. So we're just going to go down to the MOC. You guys already know it's driving slow, so let's just go ahead and skip through that because you already know um, when you get to your MOC, all you want to do is pull up into it and drive this sucker in there. And that's it, bro. You're saved. You're good to go. You got yourself a dupe. Pull out, go back up to your facility and do the trick again with another BMX. Like I told you, bro, rinse and repeat and you're good to go, bro. This is a good glitch, bro. No custom plates needed. Fast rinse and repeat, guys. Get after it, bro. I hope you guys make a lot of money with this, man. So if you like the video, my dude, please smash the like button, bro. Don't forget to subscribe with post notifications because you're going to miss out on future glitches. And trust me, you don't want to. So you already know, bro, that it's your boy, Caveman, and I am out, my friends. Peace. <laughs>